Hi YouTube, Tamara here, and let's get started. We are going to discuss how to create a character arc, very loosely, for the people who don't like outlines, people like me. So if you're interested in how to do this, please come along on this journey. Reminder, we are still doing hashtag Project WriteTube, which is a collaboration between a bunch of authors here on YouTube, where we are trying to give you tips and tricks to getting through Nano. The link to the playlist is in the description below, and also the huge, gigantic, and super awesome giveaway. The link is down there as well, and one lucky winner is going to win a crap ton of books for free paperback sign and digital it's amazing it's incredible and all you have to do is just sign up for some subscriptions on the youtube which would benefit you anyway so i think it's a win-win for everyone involved all right let's get started so we're going to do things a little bit differently today i wanted to show you how to start with creating characters. So this is what I do. Everyone has their own method to this crazy mad world. And there's plenty of people who are gonna see this and be like, what, that's it? That's not enough. And to those people, I absolutely appreciate you. And to anyone who feels like this might be a good fit for them, feel free to try it out yourself. So I'm gonna do a screen grab of the screen that I'm seeing so that hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So first I like to immediately open up Scrivener and start with a new project. This project is going to be fiction and we're going to go with novella, um, a novel with parts. I'm calling this novella B. Click create. Let's open this up. Okay. So I'm going to go here to characters and add new text. And I'm going to label this descriptions. And notice I did not give the novella a name yet because I don't have one. I often don't name things until the middle or even after I've completed the work. I I feel like I need to know more about the story before I can name it. And since I am a discovery writer, I learn as I go. The same is true with my characters. This is actually kind of a spinoff of this idea that I did here on YouTube in February. It was a live stream that was called um, Write With Me. And I'll leave a link in the floating eye down in the description where um, myself and a few people who came and viewed and chatted with me we created kind of a bit of an arc for a short story and I had planned on writing this short story but I realized that I didn't want to write it because I didn't want to write about a teenager. I'm still going to go with some of the ideas that were created during that sit-in but we're going to just change it a little bit. So as I said I don't really like to name people but I do know that my protagonist she is female. She's in her mid-twenties. Oops. She is from a small town and she's always lived here. She's... You're going to see all my typos as they happen. Oh, how daunting. She's black. She lives with her auntie. Maybe. And they run a bookstore together. And something that I didn't think of until recently, I want this girl to be clairvoyant. She has, she has some psychic abilities, and she does not accept them. And 
her auntie is psychic and is totally she's totally fine with it she's very comfortable in her psychic abilities but her knee her niece not so much and that is going to be part of the what defines her as a character with a character arc we have a few things first we look at who who is the hero what does that hero desire what stands in her way how does she make her way around the barrier and how does that change her an inner story arc that may only change a little bit would be this her self-acceptance this is since this is a short story I'm not gonna delve into that very I'm not gonna it's not gonna get a deep talking through at this point however who knows what will happen maybe something will happen next month with her because I'm kind of intrigued by her already then we have the antagonist and the antagonist is male he's from there as well he moved away and went to school he's from he has an affluent background and they've been enemies since grade school there's some type of grudge between them and that grudge is somehow going to come into play during this novella we have learned that there's the protagonist is female the her antagonist is male the where one of the settings is the small town itself and another setting is going to be the bookstore because that's going to be somewhere that's going to be a central location for what happens in this female's life. So let's just jot that down. I'm hoping that you can see that what I'm doing here is is kind of um, kind of a brain dump. I'm letting my mind just connect the dots. And as I'm talking it out, things are just connecting and I'm writing those things down. And I am not limiting myself with worries like extreme um, physical descriptions and um, naming things. I'm not letting the small details bog me down. I'm just trying to get like a kind of um, an overall idea of what's going on with these characters, who they are, and a little bit about how they interact. So I know there's going to be three important characters at this point. The, the antagonist, the protag, and the auntie. And auntie is an older black woman. She's very country. She's she's the town psychic. And she's never lived anywhere else. And she's the sister of the protag's father who has passed away. So again, nothing that's really nails down a lot of specifics, but just giving me a basic guideline so when I'm going back through and writing this, I'll have places to go. I won't be approaching the story with the blank page 
because I'll have some ideas of how this will work. And this is going to be for a novella. And the novella is pretty much 17,000 to 45,000 words, more or less. That's about how much, how many words there is. And my plan is I read this book, which looks backward on the screen here, how to write a novella in 24 hours and other questionable and possibly insane advice on creativity for writers by Andrew Main. It is a mouthful. It's a very small book, but itself is a novella. I'm sure that wasn't a, uh, I'm sure that was part of the plan. But I plan to use this, bit of story that I'm talking about here and write the 24 hour novella. And I'm hoping that at the end of that process, I will have something that y'all can read because I feel like even though you can go to my blog, penpaperpad.com and there's poetry there and there's short stories and there's flash fiction. I, I wonder if, if any of y'all have done that or if you even knew that was available because I don't really talk about it a lot. I haven't really been blogging a lot in a very long time. And right now there's there's a problem with my blog on the back end, so I haven't been able to uh, access things. But it's it's still good for anybody to look at it. <laughs> um so I'm gonna leave it here for developing a character and Clearly, I mean loosely developing and just having an idea of who these characters are a little bit before I go to that blank page. Because even if you are a discovery writer or a pantser and you don't really like to outline, you don't like to go in there with a lot of definite ideas, remember, it's easier if you have something that's very basic to go through with than to go to that page with nothing at all and if you decide on something you can always change it if it doesn't work now when you're doing NaNoWriMo what I often do is just change the font color of something that I'm going to when I go back through I will delete that so let's say normally all the font is in black I'll change the parts that I'm, I know that I'm going to delete because I've decided to go a different route I'll change that color to red and I'll make it a little bigger and bold it so it as soon as I see it later delete that but since I wrote it during the month I can use those bits as part of my word count because NaNoWriMo is the challenge of writing 50k words in the month of November and it's not necessary that all of those words count to the final product. So there's a tip for Nano and I hope that you found this a little bit helpful and let me know again in the comments how do you do it? How do you try to develop your characters? And next the next video in this series will be about talking about kind of developing a plot and that which will be of course be tricky for us folks that don't really like outlines, how do you develop the plot? Hmm. Stay tuned and find out. My name is Tamara. I talk about writing your books here because that's what I love. Please subscribe. Ring the little notification bell so that you'll know when these new videos pop up. And you'll have access to my community page where I post polls and tell you about videos that I'm going to be posting and I even ask questions to see what you guys want because I want this to be kind of a collaboration between me and you so that you can get the most out of this channel as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll future Tamara here just coming in to remind you that Amy and I will be doing our third quarter check-in Friday October 7th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Please join us here on this channel. Okay bye for real now.